Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at using SketchUp to draw vases. Or is it vases? Um, well, we'll do one of each. We'll do a vase and then we'll do a vase, and then that way you could tell the difference. Um, this was actually a request from a viewer. They asked if we could go through the steps of doing this, which is really great because it is it's a, it's a follow me technique where we take a profile one side of an item and we use follow me to you know circle that around or follow a shape around uh, to create a vase or boss one of the two. Um, so it's not a difficult process, but there are a few steps to it. And let's uh, we're gonna take a look at how that works right now. All right, so I got a couple uh, examples. I was just kind of playing around with some shapes. This uh, one with a lot of curves, this one with some straight sides on it. Uh, I see some straight sides down here too. So uh, let's just walk through the steps real quick. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle. So I'm just gonna grab circles and I'm gonna click and just pull something out like that. What I generally do then is I wanna draw the profile. So I'll come over like this, uh, just draw a rectangle, it actually doesn't have to be a rectangle, but a shape that's gonna, you know, a flat surface to draw on is basically what I'm looking for here. So what I will generally do then is kind of come in here and using straight lines, just drawing on the surface, I will kind of rough in what I think the shape's gonna look like. So maybe it's something like this will curve out and then we'll curve back in and then go up and then maybe it'll come back out again I don't know something like that maybe and then what I generally do then is that's when I grab my arc and I start filling in my arcs and now obviously uh, probably goes without saying but I'm gonna say it anyhow the amount of uh, segments you put on your arc the more arc you know the more segments you put on the smoother your arcs are gonna look but All right, so something like that. And then what I'll do is I will erase my extra lines. I'll be honest with you, half the time I do this, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised or sometimes disappointed with the way it all turns out. So uh, yeah, it really depends. <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do then is I, if, I, if I was to use follow me to just follow the shape around the circle, I have a solid piece, but I, wanna, I do want this open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click and then I'm going to hold down the modifier keys to get to my minus. So I'm on max, so it's shift plus option. And I'm going to deselect most of these edges. So all I want is the edges out here. Then I'm going to use offset to pull that line in. Like about that much. And uh, maybe we'll make the bottom solid. So I'll draw one more arc. Something. There down. There we go. All right. Now I get rid of this. I got to round off this. I, I don't like this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a circle right here in the middle, pull it across, and then just get rid of this. Thing. Yeah, that gives me a nice round edge on the top. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll grab this circle down here and I will say tools follow me because I have not put this up on my toolbar yet, which I should because I use it a lot. And I'll just click on the shape. And there we go. We got a vase. This ended up more of a goblet. I went a little big on the top, but you get the you get the picture of, of, of how it looks. Um, yeah, so that looks looks pretty good. It's not ideal though. There's some stuff I don't love about it. Uh, for one thing, if I look underneath, all of these have no bottom. So first thing I have to do to clean this up would be drop another uh, line right there, close that up. The other thing that happened is I got this segment right here. Another segment right here, right here. All, all these, all these segments. Not a big deal because I can just select it like this, and then I can grab my soften and smooth dialog box, which is for some reason over on my other screen. But here it is, and then I can turn on soften co planer, and then get rid of those extra edges. So that looks better. Um, but yeah, let's let's do better. Let's let's uh, let's do that in one instead of any cleanup steps. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to come over here 
and uh, start with my rectangle. Let's do a rectangle first. So I'm just going to draw my shape. This is the that shape that I drew my profile on, so roughly the same size. And then I'm going to do this a little bit different because then I'm going to grab my circle. And rather than putting the circle right here where it was before, I'm going to drop down slightly and put it down below. So you can see it's down below. By putting it down below, oh, I should also mention the circle size doesn't matter. I think I happen to match the this footprint to the, the circle. It doesn't matter. Any circle works. By having it disconnected here, it's going to eliminate this need to fill in the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go through very similar steps to what I did last time. So I'm just going to draw up, over. I, apparently, this is how I think vases work. They have a step like that. It's going to come over here. Then I'm going to have it come out, you do a big sweep like this, and that's going to kind of come in like this, come up, and then I only want to bring it out part way, not quite as far. So same thing I'm going to do here. I'm just a little bit differently. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's put a full circle here and a full circle here and a full circle here. And then when we clean that up, we'll get a shape that looks like that, kind of nice, something a little different. And then uh, grab my arc. Bring this up and around like this. Um, I think I'm gonna not quite go with the full half circle, something like that. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, and then go this way, and then bring this up here, and then same thing. I'm just gonna clean up this outside edge. And grab like that. All right, and oh, I have a little bump right here. I don't really like that. So here's I'm just gonna draw a segment like that and just clean that up. That looks better. All right, so. Same thing I did before. I'm going to double click and then I'm going to deselect anything that's not the outside edge. Before I offset, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say weld edges. By welding the edges, that makes this a single curve so I don't have to worry about doing stuff like cleaning up the, the pieces after the follow me. So then I can just say offset and I can put that in here. Oh, yeah, some great. Oh, there, there's. I forgot where I was snapping from. Got some weird stuff going on down down at the bottom because of the way I did this uh, double circle thing here, but that's okay uh, because I will again I'll come right here, take that straight across, get rid of that, get rid of that, and then same as did last time, quick half circle right here. All right, oops, a lot of oops is here. What? Wait. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna triple click, grab all those edges, and then I'm just gonna do another uh, weld edges, and then watch this. So remember, the last thing we had, we had we had bands in here, or all the way around circles around. We had no bottom. So this time, when I select the circle down below, tools, follow me, click the shape. Not only do we get a a much healthier looking vase. This is a this is a vase. This is actually a goblet. These are vases over here. This is a vase. Look at that thing. That's sturdy. You could park a truck on there. Um, but see, there's no broken pieces. The bottom is is good. We can delete that. Um, actually, I'm going to back up a couple steps because I want to do something here just as one more option. We'll do that again. So grab the circle, tools, oops, tools. Oh, come on, tools. <laughs> Follow me. Click here. Awesome. Get rid of that. So uh, I do one more thing I want to show. This is this is the bonus. Uh, rather than doing a circle, let's do this with a different shape. Let's go to polygon. Let's put a six-sided polygon uh, right down below here, like that. Grab this shape. Tools. Follow me. Click the same exact shape, and look what we get in that case. Now that's a that's a vase with a long A, if ever I've seen one. That's just that's pure fanciness. Maybe that's what differentiates a vase from a vase. These are vases, these are vases. That's that's the big difference. Um, yeah, so there you go. So when you are doing a follow me to create a vase shape, and this is, we were using vases, but this could be a wine glass, this could be a Coke bottle, this could be, um, I don't know, a specific building, depending on what you're doing. Anytime you do this sort of follow me thing, the thing to do is put your path down below so it doesn't connect. That way it'll close your faces up, that's important. And then weld your profile beforehand. That's going to give you nice, easy, clean edges like we got in these models right here. So there we go. 
not only do you now know how to do that in SketchUp, but now you know the difference between a base and a vase. And that was, that was a little bonus education right there. I, I threw that in for free. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Did you pick up anything new out of that? Do you have a different thing you like to do when you create these kinds of shapes? Do you have input on vase versus vase? Let us know down below. We like making these videos a lot. We like to be more and showing something you want to see. Thank you.